fundamental pieces to my wardrobe, things that I can build upon um, in order for different situations or different events. So here I've pulled about 10 of my favorite pieces that are my foundational pieces. And these pieces do not change with the seasons. So the things that I add to them will be seasonal. So made by my scarf or a sheer whatever. But this is everything in my closet that if there was a fire, this is what I would grab. So here we have a beautiful Louis Vuitton structured bag. And I like to get all my purses in neutral colors first. So every purse that I have that is structured, you'll see is in a neutral color, a brown, a taupe, or a black, because we want to be able to use this piece um, forever, and we want it to be a timeless piece. A camel coat was one of the things, one of the items in my closet that I knew I wanted to get straight from, I call it the motherland, all right? So when I went to Italy, um, Camel coats are just made impeccably well. So I saved up a little bit before my trip and I purchased this camel coat. Um, and I know this is something that will last me well into my 80s, 90s, and beyond, hopefully. But just a beautifully structured pieces. The quality is amazing. Um, I actually went to the factory to see where these are made. And so um, it was a real treat to be able to actually pick one up and get one. So a quality jean jacket is a must in everybody's wardrobe, whether your size or shape. So what I look for in a great denim jacket is really two things. Number one, it's the stitching. So you wanna make sure that the stitching is a contrasting color and that the stitching is pretty tight. Um, also, you wanna make sure that the inside of the jacket, the actual denim part, um, is soft on the inside and not very rigid. Because what this does is this allows it to sit on your body nicely when you wear the jacket. So something like this, I love the Gap. Gap is just really simple um, quality piece. And also, um, you can find these at consignment shops all over. Turtlenecks. Turtlenecks are a great option for putting underneath blazers or um, just to wear alone with a beautiful trouser. It really is a sophisticated monochromatic look. So for those of us who don't really know how to put things together, if you just put a top and a bottom, it's really simple, the same color, it looks really classic. Um, I happen to love Banana Republic turtlenecks. These turtlenecks are very lightweight and if you are a curvy lady, they really sit nicely and they don't pull or tug. Um, so it's just a really great, simple um, piece. When I think of classic and polished, I think of the button down white shirt. Um, I've tried many different shirts. Power of My People is the best shirt out there. It is a little pricey, but the quality is amazing. The fabric is thick. And what that allows you to do is to structure the collar in any way you want. If you want to pop the collar, if you want to put it down, and it stays put. Um, this is a great piece for just a pair of jeans to go casual. And also, I've worn it with a leather skirt and heels, and it's super, super refined and classy. Oh, yes, we know white can be an issue. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, I don't launder this very much. So what that does is it allows it to keep the white pretty bright. Um, the more you launder it, the more it's gonna have of a yellow tint to it. Um, when you do launder this, I always launder it by hand and uh, let it drip dry. Oh, classic chambray shirt. Right. This is from day to even evening. You can dress this up with a beautiful sequined skirt and it's really chic. This shirt is from Banana Republic. And I really like what Banana is doing nowadays. They're creating um, shirts that are structured yet soft. And I think that's a real issue. We want to be able to be um, fashionable and look structured and polished, but also feel comfortable. So we have a classic blazer. 
Um, and this beautiful blazer I actually picked up at the local consignment shop for only $13. So you can grab a beautiful piece. This is a Kate Spade tuxedo blazer. Um, again, versatile piece. And when you have a structured look, it actually makes you look very thin and long. So I know the trend is big and baggy, but if you want to look lean and polished and refined, always choose structure over volume. Classic t-shirt. You gotta have it in two colors, black and white. Okay, this will take you extremely far in all seasons. Again, as you can tell, I love Banana Republic. The material is buttery soft, and you can grab a t-shirt, and these t-shirts you can actually find quite uh, regularly at consignment shops. Um, I believe I paid like $4 for this, and I've had it for almost a year and a half, and it still keeps a nice structure. Trousers. So I always suggest you have one casual pair of pants and one uh, more formal pair of pants. Um, these beautiful hanger here, trousers are perfect for creating a really formal look. And also, if you don't have to wear a place to wear, to wear anything formal, you throw on a graphic tee with this and it looks super stylish. Um, what you want to make sure when you're looking for trousers is that the band does not roll forward. So when you put them on, you want to make sure that the band is sitting nice and flush, and that's what creates that long, flat line. Um, throw a heel on, and that line continues even further to make you longer and leaner. I love to shop in bed <laughs> and be cozy, and um, that's when and I also have a lot of... Um, pieces that I need to get at one time and I'll just go ahead and go on thread up and check them all out at once. This is a Zara trench coat that I picked up online for 24 bucks and I love this trench coat for two reasons. Number one, it's not super long and it's not super short so it's not a crop and I think if you're 5'5 five, five and under, a crop jacket just does not do you justice. Um, so this little number came with a belted waist creating a little bit more definition which is something I like um, especially if you wear a sweater or something bulky underneath it's nice to pull the belt just a little bit and gives you a little bit of that shape um, classic piece any season um, these three shoes are my favorite because each of these shoes can go for, again, night and day. Total versatility. That's what I'm about. If it can go with five different outfits, five different ways, it's a keeper. So we have a neutral pair of small kitten heels. Um, again, you can wear it with a jean. You can wear it with a trouser. Got to have a cute pair of street athletic shoes. Okay. So we have our Vihas right here. Again, something you can dress up or dress down. And classic Manolo Blahniks. Again, got these at the consignment shop, $7.99. If you could only have one accessory, a scarf is what you need. It can go in the hair, it can be used as a belt, it can be tied around the wrist, it can be tied around the neck. It adds just a little bit of class and style to any outfit. Also, uh, silk scarves are expensive, and so these two I actually got from Amazon, um, $10 for both, so $5 each, and they are something that travels with me all the time. If I only bring two pairs of jeans, two shirts, and two scarves, I've got outfits for seven days. And last but not least, we have a really great pair of denim. A lot of people like to have light denim, and I think that light denim does not carry to evening real well. So a pair of dark denim is really versatile, way more than light denim. Here I have a uh, straight leg jean, and I think straight leg jeans really just allow the eye to elongate and go all the way down, and it creates a really great silhouette. So again, you can dress this up or dress this down.